So I think first our hats off to Richard and to Herb. Um, it's, when you take leadership and you bring people together, it's always good. So thank you very much. I, I can speak about the Jewish National Fund, but I took the topic of Zionism and land and decided that uh, you could always go onto our website or Facebook me, like me, tweet, wherever. But the question about Zionism and the land, I think is to ask ourselves, after 120 years, when a man in his 30s brought our people together, is our leadership worthy to be able to walk in those footsteps? Are we holding up the principles of what was there, what he was trying to create, and what he did create? It wasn't about religious or secular or right or left. It was people looking for a land, a land that was part of our very existence. And you cannot discuss Judaism at all unless you weave Israel into it. But you also cannot be a Zionist if you only can weave the Israel in which you claim is the right way. It is 2017, and we have to ask ourselves, are we worthy of being in those footsteps? Are we bringing people along with us? Are we bringing the next generation with us? Are we leading the way? Are we doing the same that happened after 2,000 years when a group of people, not necessarily religious, not necessarily secular, left or right, came together on a Friday afternoon at 4.30 and declared a state of Israel for the Jewish people everywhere. And then think about that, that the next big occasion that everybody gathered to listen was on Saturday night at 10 o'clock when a man named Menachem Begin who was not invited to the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And yet he came on at 10 o'clock not to disrupt, but to bring together his first words saying, our long journey for a Jewish nation is over. A man that did not like the people in charge, did not believe that they deserved to be in charge, but he, started the words that our long jury, journey for the Jewish nation is over and we will join the government. And as a gentleman, with passion, together help build that nation. So our journey was at the end gathering of the exiles, first from the ashes of the Holocaust and then the 1950s from Jews from Arab lands. We were one then. And then we had Romanian Jews coming. We paid every year for Romanian Jews to come from Romania. We were one then. And we were one when Jews came from the former Soviet Union. And we were one when Jews came from Ethiopia. And we were one over all the wars of 66 and 67. We were one. And we're one when we talk about Israel on the brink of annihilation. But are we one when we have won? There are no Jews in exile anywhere in the world. That is a reality. There is no Jew that cannot move to Israel by choice today. Now, for those who are biblical, can tell me because it's way above my pay grade, it hasn't been since the destruction of the Second Temple. It's a moment in history. Are we worthy of those footsteps? Are we only worthy when we can promote threats and annihilation? Do we have a problem with the Israel that has more North Americans making Aliyah every year than from anywhere else? North Americans who are making Aliyah? Coming with education and opportunities? Do we have a problem with Israel when the ambassador talks about the start of nation or over 500 firms on Wall Street? That's not the Israel we were raised on. We need that Israel of war, of exiles. We think, because we have won, can we be one? 
And I challenge us that we have to be one because the land of Israel is part of the Jewish people. It is part of our very existence. It is not them there and we here. We shall never should allow people to steal the Zionist movement from us. The politicians or the non. The people that are sitting in organizations that feel only worthy of the chairs that they represent and not the Jewish people in which the land is, in, is about. But we have to talk as if we won. We have to be a winning people. I challenge you that the land of Israel is part of the existence of our next generation because we will be the dreamers that continue the dream. That we will be the believers that believe in the past and today and tomorrow. That we believe that our greatest time is ahead. Thank you.